Hey guys and welcome to my channel and today we are at the Hawa Mahal in India's pink city that is Jaipur. We'll have a look at this palace of winds, a stunning five-story palace in Jaipur, India. It is one of the most iconic landmarks of the city and it's a must visit if you are around here. Do not miss it at all costs. So the Hawa Mahal, also known as the Palace of Winds, is a stunning five-story palace and it is built from red and pink sandstone, one of the most iconic landmarks as I said. It was very clear skies, pleasant climate, not that hot, slightly cold, very nice day for visiting. Where are we? Okay. Uh, the ticket window, let's check what are the rates. So these are the rates for Indian, it is 52. We are in Ashwik is pleading to go in. Come on. Guide, hello, guide. Its construction was commissioned in 1799 by the then Maharaja Savai Pratap Singh, who is the grandson of the founder of Jaipur, Maharaja Jai Singh. The architect Lal Chand Ustad designed the Hawa Mahal as an extension of the city palace to serve as the woman's chamber or Zenana. Now entering the Hawa Mahal. During that era, following the Parda system, royal Rajput women were restricted from showing their face to strangers or even appearing in the public. The numerous windows, that is the jarokas of the Hawa Mahal, allowed these women to observe the street scene below without being seen themselves. The most striking feature of the Hawa Mahal is its five-story exterior, which resembles a honeycomb. The facade is adorned with 953 small windows, each intricately latticed and topped with miniature domes and finials. The lattice work not only adds to the beauty of the facade but also serves a functional purpose. The many windows create a natural air conditioning system, hence the name Hawa Mahal, which translates to the Palace of Winds. The cool air flows through the windows keeping the palace interior comfortable during the hot Indian summers. The interior of the Hawa Mahal is relatively plain compared to the elaborate facade. There are pillar chambers and minimally decorated corridors that lead up to the top floor. While not typically included in tours, the view from the upper floors are said to be quite spectacular. Here is a question for all of you. Can you guess the design of Hawa Mahal is based upon the crown of which Hindu god? Let's see the answer at the end of this video. Though not a traditional palace in the sense that it wasn't a primary residence for the royal family, the Hawa Mahal is a fascinating architectural and cultural landmark that reflects a unique blend of Hindu Rajput and the Islamic Mughal architectural styles. It is a must-see for any visitor to Jaipur. And Ashik has started his film of dancing. Ashu, come. a nice breeze through that's why it's called as Hawa Mahal 
Indeed, very breezy. Yeah. So you can see the interior of the mahal is much simpler in comparison to the decorated exterior and the walls inside are in shades of yellow rather than the pink uh, outside. Different floors are named differently. We have the second floor which is called as Ratan Mandir because of the colorful glassworks which we saw earlier and the third floor is called Vichitra Mandir because that is where the Maharajas used to worship Lord Krishna and fourth floor is called a Prakash Mandir because it has an open terrace on both the sides and fifth floor is called the Hava Mandir which is accessible by the narrow stairs. And as the sun sets down, the Hava Mahal is illuminated with lights which adds to the beauty of this palace. Going on top. So, any guesses on the earlier question asked? Can you guess which is the Hindu god? This crown, the Hava Mahal has been designed upon. Yes, you rightly guessed it as the crown of Lord Krishna. As Maharaja's Savai Pratap Singh was a huge devotee of Lord Krishna. What a nice breeze coming through, you can look at this. Very breezy. That's why it is called as Hava Mahal. Ashwin, can you feel the breeze? Wow! You can see the breeze. Although it is closed, you can nicely feel the breeze. Very narrow way up. Again, very breezy. So, a few words on this beautiful city of Jaipur. You should surely visit it at least once in a lifetime. All the tourist spots are more or less. Close to each other, you can easily cover it in one or two days. Beautiful city, good food, you can shop uh, here as well. We have a video on the Bapu Bazaar. You can click the i button above. Lots of crowd up there. We are not going to the top. Very crowded. The roads are narrow. The way of narrow. That's about it from us in this video. If you like nature, you can check out the Jaipur Zoo in this particular video. Ashwik has guided us through the, uh, the entire zoo. And if you are more into history, you can also check out the Albert Hall Museum in Jaipur. We had a lot of great time. Do check out our other videos of Jaipur, Mathura and Agra. See you in the next one.